Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 3 8. So the statement is that the strut is supported by a pin at C and A36 steel guy wire AB. If the wire has diameter of 0 0.2 inch, determine how much it stretches when the distributed acts, load acts on the strut. So you can see CB is a strut and uh, this strut is supported at point C by a pin clear and wire AB that is made out of A36 steel is supporting it. The, this wire dia is 0 0.2 inch so you have to determine how much this wire AB stretch when a, when a distributed load acts on it. So let's start from the given data. So in given data it is given that this wire AB is wire AB is A36 steel. A36 steel. Clear? Also, the diameter of wire AB is equal to 0 0.2 inch. Clear? So, if A36 is given, so we have to check its property uh, from the book that is, uh, I will show you. This is the book. So, at the end of the book, uh, you have the section that is about average mechanical property, typical US customary units. So from this you can go and you can search A36. You can see this is A36. Its modulus of elasticity E is 29 into 10 to the power 3 KSI and its yield strength is 36 KSI. Also other properties are given. So we will pick these two values because we will need them in our problem. So from here yield strength from the property table that is 36 KSI clear and E is also 29 into 10 to the power 3 KSI. Also we have to find the how much it stretch when distributed load acts on it. So we will find the elongation in wire AB. So let's start with the solution. So for starting this problem we will need the free body diagram of uh, this figure. So we will first draw the free body diagram. So let this is strut and that is supported at point C. So there is a pin support. So definitely we have a horizontal force Cx. I will draw it we will have a horizontal force as well as we have we will have we will be having a vertical force okay so this force should be axially we will move it down another force that is vertical here let this is cx and this is cy clear now at point b there is a load that intention or load that is fab clear and i will show it over here also this is point b let's say this force is fab now you can see this is 60 degree, this is 30 degree, so this angle will be equal to 60 degree. So this force is making an angle of 60 degree with this point. This is point B. Okay, so this is distributed uniformly decreasing load. So the load is 200 pound per feet. I will show here as dotted and we have to convert this load into a point load. So for conversion of this load into point load we will since this is triangular so we have 1 over 2 into 200 multiply by its length. Clear? And this load will act on this strut. 
and the total distance from here this will be equal to from denser side it will be equal to L by 3 and from this side it will be 2L by 3. The total distance is given as 9 feet. So if you put L by 3 so it, this distance will be equal to 3 feet from this point to this point and the remaining distance will be 6 feet. You can put L is equal to 9, 9 into 2, 80, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So this is free body diagram. Okay, since we are interesting to find out this force F, A, B clear, so we will directly go and we will apply the moment equation that sum of all moment about point C is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Now you can see that the two forces that are producing moment about this point C, one is this force clear and the second one is the vertical component of this force. Okay. So 1 over 2 into 200 multiply by 9 into perpendicular distance is 3 feet clear and this force is producing clockwise moment so that will be negative. This force has two components one is this component and the other one is this component. So only this component is producing moment because this force is passing through point C and it is not producing any moment clear. So this force this component is only producing moment and that is equal to FAB cause of 60 degree clear and the perpendicular distance is 9 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive so plus FAB cause of 60 degree into perpendicular distance is 9 their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve this uh, equation, so you will get the value of FAB. So FAB will become equal to 600 pounds. Okay. We will move further. Now we know that uh, normal stress in the wire, normal stress, normal stress in wire AB is equal to sigma AB which is equal to force AB divided by area of AB. We have force AB, we have diameter of wire, we can find it. So 600 divided by area of this wire. So this wire having diameter 0 0.2 that is given over here. So you can find area which is equal to 5 by 4 into 0 0.2 whole square. And you will get the stress in wire AB. So stress in wire AB comes out to be 19.10 KSI. Okay. So we have this stress. Now you can see this is the stress that is generated in wire AB and the wire AB having yield stress is 36 KSI. It means that your uh, stress AB is less than sigma yield means this stress is in elastic region clear. So you can easily find the strain as we know that sigma AB is equal to E into epsilon AB. We have this value, we have this value, you can calculate strain and from strain you can calculate the elongation. So let's proceed. So strain AB is equal to stress AB divided by E. Uh, Okay.
so stress is 19.10 ksi and uh, this e is 29 into 10 is to power 3 ksi that is mentioned above and taken from the table so when you calculate it you will have strain ab is equal to 0 0.6586 into 10 is to power minus 3 inch by inch or there is no unit clear now you have this strain as we know that strain is strain ab is equal to change in length of ab divided by original length ab but here we ha do not have uh, we have strain AB, we do not have LAB. So what we have to do is that we have to find the length of this wire AB. I will choose another color. So you have to find this. Okay, so if you can see triangle ABC. So in triangle ABC you can take sine of 60 degree. So sine of 60 degree will be equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse. So CB over AB. Clear? So length AB will be equal to CB over sine of 60 degree. And CB is 9 feet. Clear? And we will convert it into inch. So we will multiply it with 12. So it will be 9 into 12, this length will be in inch, divided by sine of 60 degree. And this will be equal to length of AB. I note down length of AB is equal to 9 into 12 divided by sine of 60. And we will put it in over here. Clear? So from here change in length or elongation is equal to length of AB into strain of AB. Length of AB is equal to 9 into 12 divided by sine of 60 multiply by strain is equal to this value which is equal to 0 0.6586. Clear? So when you solve this you will get elongation in wire AB when distributed load x and that come out to be 0 0.0821 inch. So this is the answer of our question 3-8. I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned from this as well. Thank you for watching.